All right, so today we are graphing linear equations. All right, so we're going to take these three equations and graph them on the grid. Now, before we do that, just remember that linear equations like these are in slope intercept form, meaning they are in the form of y equals mx plus b, where the number next to x, represented with the m here, is the slope, and it tells you the pattern of the points when you graph it. The b at the end here, that's your y-intercept. That tells you where the graph crosses the y-axis. These are all important things to look for when we make our graph today. All right, so for example, a, y equals 1 half x minus 6. So we're looking at two things, the slope and the y-intercept. Let's start at the y-intercept. We've got a minus 6 there. That tells us our line is going to cross the y-axis at negative 6. So on the y-axis, I'm going to plot a point at negative 6. Now, the number next to the x is 1 half, and that's my slope. So this tells us the pattern of the points. The top number is your rise. That means how much up or down we're going to go. And the bottom number, the 2, is the run. That tells you how far to the right we're going to go between each pair of points. So if my rise is 1 and my run is 2, the pattern is up 1, right 2, and then you plot a point. And then you repeat. Up 1, right 2, plot a point. Up 1, right 2, plot a point. Up 1, right 2, plot a point. And now you can kind of see what the pattern of the points is going to be. And you should repeat it the other way, just so you can extend the line in both directions. But once you've done that, you can use a straight edge, draw your line through them all, and then I like to put arrows on the ends to show that it does go on forever. I'm even going to label it A so I know which one's which. All right, so that's line A. Let's do another one. Here's B. Y equals negative 4 thirds X plus 5. I'll start with the y-intercept. That's the positive 5. So on the y-axis, I'm going to plot positive 5. My slope is the number next to X. In this case, it's a fraction, and it's a negative fraction this time. It's a negative 4 thirds. Negative means instead of going up for my rise, I'm going to go down for my rise, but I'm still going to go to the right. So this tells me to go down 4, right 3. We always move to the right when we start graphing our line with our slope. So down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, right 3, 1, 2, 3, there's my point. Down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, right 3, 1, 2, 3, hey, they overlap. Down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, right 3, 1, 2, okay, so it goes off the grid a little bit, okay? But you can kind of see what the pattern of the line is going to look like based off these points. And if I use my straight edge, there's my line. I'll put my arrows to show it goes on forever in both directions, and I'll label it B. All right, so there's the second line. Now for the last one, we've got y equals 3x minus 2. Here's my y-intercept, negative 2. So on the y-axis, I'm going to plot a point at negative 2. Now my slope here is 3. Now when your slope isn't a fraction, I try to make it into a fraction. So if it's a whole number, put it over 1 to make it into a fraction because it's easier to graph when you think of it as a fraction. Okay? Because the top number is your rise, 3. Your bottom number is your run, 1. That means the pattern of the points is going to go up 3, right 1, up 3, right 1. If it was just a whole number, you might forget the, up, uh, the right 1. A lot of kids do. All right, so from here, I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, right 1. Up 3, right 1. Up 3, right 1. And then I'm going to continue the pattern the other way, too. So that way, when I draw my line, I know where to plot the line through. There it is, right there. I'll put arrows on the end to show it goes on forever, and I'll label it C. All right? So when you're graphing lines, remember you're looking for two things, the y-intercept and the slope. And once you've done that, you can draw on your lines and label it in. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button. Also, it really helps us out when you subscribe. With that being said, good job today, and I will see you next time.